guys, Shelly and Fraser Price just it keeps setting more and more records everywhere she goes. Everywhere she goes, whether it's a meet record or whatever it is. We're about to find out what that is in just a second. And I'm your host, Nick. You're now listening to Head & Shoulders ATR, where we cover athletes, performances, and otherwise that are head and shoulders above the rest. Always be blessed, remain rich, and remember, we're working to be the number one in sports, track, and field. Maybe we have some CrossFit, tennis, and things like that in here, and in our self and personal development on this network. And before we get into today's topic, don't forget to check out trackstars.io, which will allow us to create and continue creating those fantasy style races. Obviously you see the men here, they will be with women. So if you wanna see a fantasy race between Adi, Flojo, uh, another matchup with Veronica Campbell Brown and Shelly Ann Fraser Price, all of them in one race, all of the greats throughout history, whether those be the US, uh, the Americans, maybe some questionable people in the past from other nations. If you wanna see those types of races, definitely head over to trackstars.io and pick up at least one of those NFTs. Let's go. So I'm sure by now you've already seen that Shelly Ann Fraser Price has run another sub 10 seven this year. She's run another sub 10 seven. And of course she just extended her lead on the World number one spot by time here. All right, world number one spot. But now you're wondering like, okay, what record did she set? What record did she set? Okay, well, let's just say, well, the meat record's not set, or is it? Is the meat record set? Well, it says world leader, not meat record. Okay, cool. Now, it's not that, but let's just highlight here. Let's look at the finished photo really quick and see the gap. This is a gap of three tenths of a second, a complete and utter blowout for the rest of the field. This is the head and shoulders above the rest. She is the best of the best. And she's been showing it all this year, five time world 100 meter title champion. Now, we can go all day and all night about that, but let's look at these stats right here. Look at all of the times that she has gone. Forget 11 seconds. Forget 11.1. Forget 10.9. A, a forget 10.8. We're talking about 10.7. And actually, I think you guys can't see that on the screen. Let me adjust that now. Here it is. Look at this to the right. Look at the sheer amount of times. This means under. So all the times she's gone under... 10, 9, but above, it's like 10, uh, 10, 8 to 1089. That's what that is. That's how these uh, markings go. So every number under 10, 9 to 10, 8, 49 times. Then go sub 10, 8. That means her 10, 7 to 1079, 27 times. She's leading the history books with that one. But here's another record that she set. How many times has everybody else run 10-6? Wind legal. These are wind legal times. Now, this says only regular. Now, uh, I guess on hers, it doesn't have the irregular, a.k.a. the non-legal times, so the wind-assisted ones. And I don't think she has a wind-assisted 10-6. Now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think she does. So she's done this six times. That's more than any other woman in history. And I think this is even including going with wind assisted. This just shows how amazing Shelly Ann Fraser Price is. She's setting records every time she goes out. And this year, every time she's broken 10-7, and I'm convinced that Jamaican trial, she would have broken 10-7 if she didn't take a safe start. She took a very conservative safe start, came, she basically walked out of the blocks because she got blasted out of the blocks. And, uh, which is not normally her style. She blasts everybody else out of the box. You even saw at this meet in Silesia uh, that Brianna Williams is a great starter and she could not start with Shelly Ann Fraser Price. So you knew you would know if Shelly Ann was holding back too much at the start if Brianna Williams got out on her. 
and which did not happen here. So she's broken 10, seven, six times. She says she wants to go after 10, five. We're going to see how that goes. I'm convinced if she gets into the 10 fives, she's going to start setting records by the amount of times that she goes into 10, five. So Elaine Thompson here at her best, better watch out because when Shelly Ann Fraser Price does something, it's like she sticks to it. Y'all got to look at this. When she runs 10, seven, you know how many times she's just going into 10, seven, it's like, boom, this is an automatic thing. I'm just going to do it. She is like, she sleeps. Obviously it's not that easy. It's not that easy, but it's like as if she wakes up and goes to sleep and she's in that zone. It's called getting in the zone for basketball and other sports, going super saiyan, uh, depending on if you're talking about cartoons or something, going into ultra instinct mode. That's what happens to Shelly Ann Fraser Price. She just goes on, boom, and it's there. It's set. So her gear right now is 10 6. 10 6 7. She's run that, what, three times this year. Doesn't matter where it's at. So that means different tracks she's done it on. So that means some of her performances are better than others, obviously, because it's different wind conditions, different temperatures, different altitude, and all of that. That no matter what, her body is like, all right, let's kind of take the air barometer pressure, the humidity, the wind. We're going to run you at 10, 6 high. And, you know, this is very, very good. Setting records. She's making herself untouchable. And I think that's what happens when you're appreciating somebody that is a uh, legend that doesn't want to retire right now. I mean, Usain Bolt could have kept going. Michael Johnson, like he said, he could have kept going, but he felt like he had everything that he wanted. Shelly Ann Fraser Price, fortunate for all of her fans, is still competing and still wanting to, to, to continue. And she's still at a high level. So these are the records that she set right here. Now, Let's compare this to Elaine Thompson Hero, which is her next closest uh, rival. And you see right here on your screen that she's gone sub 10, 8, 16 times. Now, there's going to be the people that argue and say, well, a healthy Elaine always beats Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Guess what? This is part of the sport. If you can't be healthy, baby, well, the other person's going to beat you. And as you've seen this year, there are plenty of athletes out there competing and they're injured they still get themselves medals they still can come through with wins uh sometimes uh still go through and help their teams look at dina asher smith uh being injured from last year to this year carrying that injury look at trayvon bromel that was injured in the rio olympics and he finally fought himself back up to get yet another medal so after getting a medal the first time a uh, time with uh andre de Grasse, got injured, was gone for a while, came back. It just is part of the sport. So people can argue and speculate all they want, but hey, at the end of the day, Shelly Ann Fraser Price is the one that people have uh, crowned, and I think rightly so, the queen of the 100. I don't think I've heard that, but I've said that now. The queen of the 100. She's untouchable for the most part, and the next closest rival that actually can beat her Look at the amount of times she lives in 10 sevens, 16 times. Okay, her career is shorter. Okay, we'll give her that. All right. Now, since they were both getting sub 10 seven last year, right? Around the same time. Okay, she's gone sub 10 seven four times. And if you include the sub 10 six that one time, okay, let's just add them together. She's gone sub 10 seven five times. Now, Shelly Ann Fraser Price is going sub 1076, and she's still going and going and going. Okay, they they literally they literally did go sub 107 in the same year. So that's something that we can compare equally without saying, well, you know, the longevity, and of course she's gonna do that. Well, this is what I mean by that. What do you guys think about this and my take on her setting even more records? Because I can go by and say, wow, amazing, 10 6, 6 and everything like that. To me, that kind of gets a little bit old to beat that drum, but I like to focus on a different angle here. The record that she just set by making herself untouchable. She was tied with the Lane Thompson hero with the amount of sub 10 7s. Now she's ahead of a Lane Thompson hero by one. If you include only 10 sixes, then she was already ahead of Lane Thompson here. 
And if she has any more races that she intends to do, which I assume she will with the uh, Diamond League final and everything like that, well, then we can only speculate. I wouldn't say assume because it depends on what she feels she needs to do. Barring injury, barring, you know, getting too tired and fatigued. She is older. So like she said, some days her toe injury comes back. She's still facing that. Right now, what do you guys think about my take on, wow, this is maybe something you guys didn't think of about the amount. Because I think this should be, uh, I think this should be another factor when we rank athletes, when we look at athletes and compare them. Not only have they done, you know, a performance ranking literally number one in the world. It's kind of like, okay, other sports, boxing, you could be number one ranked. But how do you get number one rank? You got to get wins. You got to beat certain people. And then once you beat certain people, you get in that top four that you could challenge for the title belt after you do certain things. Okay, cool. The track and field is a little different. Shelly Ann Frazier Price has the championships. She has the literal amount of times that she's gone into rarefied air. Rarefied air. 10-7 is still rarefied air. 10-6 is ultra rarefied here and obviously had she leaned coulda woulda shoulda it would have been a 10 5 9 or something like that but she didn't lean last year so that's kind of on her but what we do know for sure that she got a 10 6 flat in multiple 10 6s up and down on that spectrum what do you guys think about that i'll catch you all in the next video peace don't forget to like subscribe and share 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 this video Oh, as well, let's click one of these videos that are up here and watch those. And don't forget to go over to trackstars.io, pick up an NFT because that helps support the channel and especially those fantasy race videos because we started working on some of those, but we're going to wait until we uh, get more of those NFTs sold because animating, it ain't cheap to hire an animator. I tell you that I'm not doing it myself. <laughs> Catch you all in the next one.